What's up, guys? Zergers here playing a little Domination on Arcade, and, and I'm back from LA, baby. Uh, got back, what was it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sunday evening, I got back to Indiana. Um, had one of my my best friends pick me up from the airport, man. Came back home. Uh, got in a few games Sunday night, not too long. I only was on for maybe about an hour. Um, Monday, just kind of just trying to get everything, you know, arranged and get unpacked and try and get caught up with uh, things that I miss, you know, on Twitter, YouTube, and all that good stuff. Um, Tuesday, I was actually, like, gaming, like, a large majority because, you know, been gone all weekend, so I was craving some M-Dub 3, and I did some pretty good, bro. I got, like, five clips, like, all night, five or six clips, just a variety of different shit, um, so pretty happy with that, and I actually was completely spaced like the triple headshot challenge so I'm sorry if you guys were waiting or anything that's my fault I completely spaced it so I'm gonna be doing it today um, I'm not sure exactly what time I'm thinking right now it's like five o'clock my time p.m. so probably you know the, the usual eight to ten between eight and ten um, Eastern so look for the tweet there for the triple headshot challenge um, so what I want to do is just basically walk you guys through like what I did on my trip, like take you kind of like a through a play-by-play. -play. So uh, Friday, I left Indiana Friday morning, and I got in LA uh, pretty early. I think it was like uh, quarter after nine, like t between nine and ten o'clock. And I met only used my blade at the airport, and that was the first time meeting that guy. He's a really cool, laid-back, chill guy, man. And uh, we were picked up by Anthony Rogers or Shore Wars from Machinima. So special thanks out to uh, Anthony for coming picking us up at the airport. Appreciate that, dude. And uh, anyway, we ended up going back to Machinima headquarters, which they've got uh, a new headquarters this year that I hadn't seen. So it was nice to go in there and check out their new setup, which is huge compared to their setup they had last year. Last year it was just kind of like a... I don't know, they had a few offices, you know, they had like a little, a smaller live stream room, and I don't know, just, their setup now is just so much better, it looks a lot more professional, uh, you know, again, a lot more rooms to do, you know, a bunch of different projects and stuff. So, me and Blade chilled out there for a while, we ended up, uh, me, uh, only just me, Blade, and Anthony, we all went and got some uh, food, come back to the to uh, Machinima headquarters, and we played Modern Warfare 3 for a little bit. We weren't on like a live stream or anything like they did last year. But, uh, you know, we just kind of chilled out, played for a little bit, uh, went back to the hotel, got dressed up for the uh, IGA Awards, which stands for the Inside Gamer Awards, and uh, met some cool people there, man. Uh, some that, you know, I had met before, others that I had not, like, uh, I met, uh, who, uh, X-Jaws, Pro Syndicate, uh, FPS Russia, so, I mean, I met, like, a lot of different people. I'm horrible with names, and I'm horrible with remembering things. So, um, I also did meet, though, I met, like, the uh, the online gamer, little short black guy from <laughs> online gamer, which I was surprised, bro, because he didn't know who me and Blade were. So, I don't know, I guess, I I'm assuming that he kind of, you know, uses YouTube for different reasons. Like, he doesn't really watch montages, commentaries, and, you know, things like that. But the guy is just funny, man. He's just got one of those funny, like, laughs and smiles that, you know, like, he doesn't even have to say anything funny. He just laughs and you just laugh with him. But uh, <laughs> he's a pretty uh, pretty chill, lax kind of guy. And, uh, it, like, during the IGAs, I'm trying to think of, like, other people I met because there were just so many. Like, I met uh, uh, Justra, Ernestly, Dunkus, um, God, uh, Princess Murda. So many people. I mean, then you know the the people that I already met were also there too. Like um, like Josh Olin was there, and I sat and talked to him a little bit about Black Ops and how like I actually like Black Ops, man, because it just to me it was like a really balanced game overall. Uh, you know, even even with uh, Ghost, you know, everybody complained about like Ghost and Silencers. At least you had the Blackbird to counter that. Which you know, if you look at like Modern Warfare 3, you have Assassin Pro, you have nothing to counter that at all, and it you know is so. Um, I don't know if I'd say overpowered, but I just want to, uh, you know, because it defends you against UAVs, advanced UAVs, EMPs, like everything, bro. So I was talking to him about his game, and I said, you know, the only thing I didn't really like was the fact that I can hardscope somebody across the map in the head, and it wouldn't register a lot of times. But um, 
I don't know. My my opinion of, of Josh Olin has completely changed from like before I ever met him. I think the guy's really cool. At least he tries to listen. He might try to argue his point, but you can't blame the guy. <laughs> but he's just he's just a really cool individual. But there was other people. Uh, of course, uh, Optic Hex was there. Uh, Hastro was there. Then you had people like Optic J, Fwiz, uh, even uh, Vondahar was there, which I believe I got a picture with everybody there. And uh, I didn't get a chance to really talk to Von Dehar. I kind of want to talk to him about some things, but, uh, you know, as the night progressed, I kind of just, like, lost him. So, <laughs> but uh, it was really cool, man, compared to last year's event. Last year's event was uh, not really big. Um, you know, they didn't have, like, tables or nothing set up. You just kind of sat in a chair while they were doing the award show. This year, a lot bigger building, looked a lot more professional. Um, you know, they had tables and chairs for everybody to just kind of sit and mingle. Uh, free drinks, which ended up kicking my ass later on. So I'll, I'll kind of dive into that a little bit because uh, most people that know me know that I don't drink liquor. I drink beer. So I'm always like asking people, you know, do you have, you know, Budweiser, Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, whatever. You know, like a light beer is good. And uh, they don't have any of that shit, man. All they got's like liquor. <laughs> so. Blades over here drinking Jaeger bombs, so I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'll, I'll I'll hang with you, bro. So we're sitting here just hammering down Jaeger bombs, and he's drinking two to my one, and uh, they actually ran out of Jaeger, so we had to switch to uh, screwdrivers, which ended up kicking me in the ass. Like I haven't drank vodka in probably like eight years, <laughs> so it was uh, it was a little interesting. Like I, I would. Just, at the at the award show, I was okay. I could you know keep myself composed. I don't get that that trashed. But um, when I started walking around, because it was me, Muzza Fuzza. I forgot him. I can't believe I forgot Muzza. Yeah, I met Muzza too. But um, it was like me, Muzza Fuzza, only use me blade and FPS Russia. We were just kind of going out, like looking for uh, you know a place to kind of continue the night or whatever. And I was already done. <laughs> <laughs> because the alcohol hadn't hit me while I was at the IGAs, but when we started walking around, I just, man, all the alcohol hit me at once. So the first night was kind of fun. Uh, it was it was a little bit of a blur, but it was it was a good time nonetheless. Um, so second night, we, uh, we as in me and only use me and Blade, because me and Blade got the, the same hotel room. We were chilling out there, and actually right next to us was Pro Syndicate. Um, he was in, like, the hotel room right next door. So, anyway, we didn't do much throughout the day because uh, the first night kind of hit us hard. And then later on in the evening, we decided to go out and get a little bite to eat. So we found this, like, uh, nice little Mexican restaurant. So we went there, uh, got something to eat, met up with, um, let's see, Elite, Hitman, Jimmy Has Game. And then it was me, Only Use Me Blade, Muzza Fuzz, and a couple guys from Game Station. So... It was pretty cool meeting up with everybody, man. I had, like, a great time overall. Um, met a lot of interesting people. I know there's a lot of people I'm leaving out, so I'm sorry if uh, your name didn't get mentioned because I'm really bad with names. Like, I know faces, but I don't know names. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, also on the last day, we ended up going up to, uh, like, Beverly Hills uh, to, like, this big mansion uh, for uh, Gamma Labs. Uh, it's a different uh, guy. We sat down had lunch just really awesome time overall and I don't know I'm just looking forward to doing it next year man I know a lot of people you know are just now like getting contracts and stuff with Machinima and just now starting to post videos so you know it's gonna be interesting to see like what they have next year who all is gonna be there because like I said this year was just a complete blast bro I met so many different people did so much like different things for me you know like a now I wouldn't say a hillbilly but you know <laughs> Uh, you know, just kind of living out, not so much in the city, in Indiana, going from that atmosphere to, you know, Hollywood, California, you know, huge ass buildings, so much to do, and it's just like a huge, like, culture shock in general, but it's always a good time. One thing that did piss me off, though, was on the way home, because my flight was through U.S. Airways, like, when I came to L.A., so I go back to U.S. Airways, because that's what my paperwork says to get my, you know, my boarding pass and everything like that. And I got to the airport like an hour and a half early, okay? And then I stood in a half hour in line at U.S. Airways waiting to get like my boarding passes, my tickets, and all that good stuff. I finally get up there, and they're like, oh, well, you have to go to United because, 
you know, you're not showing up in our system. So I have to walk all the way across, like, the airport. Like, it's a, it's a long way. <laughs> to, like, a completely different terminal. I finally get to United. I wait another half hour in line there, and then they tell me, well, you're through U.S. Airways. We can't help you. I'm like, are you serious? Because now I got, like, a half hour before my plane leaves, and I haven't even went through security yet. So uh, I did enough bitching where they finally, you know, just printed me up, you know, my boarding passes there. And, uh, you know, I just basically got on the plane, man, like, it was, it just really pissed me off, though, the way they do the things at airports sometimes, I don't know, but overall, man, it was just an amazing time, again, I can't wait to do it next year, see how many of you guys are going to be out there next year, so that's about it for this commentary, I'll check you guys later, deuces.